Hello and welcome to this first look mod video. Today we're going to be looking at FarmTech Fortis 3000 by Despo93. Let's jump in, let's go. So first up, let's have a look at it in the store. Uh, for starters, the, the FarmTech Fortis 3000 comes under two categories. It is in trailers. Scroll to the bottom. Here it is. And also we can find it if we go down to yield improvements under manure spreaders because it has both functions. It comes under trailer and under um, manure spreader clearly so at base price it costs seventy four thousand pounds euros or dollars in its standard configuration which is trailer it holds fifty five thousand liters in its manure spreader configuration it holds forty five thousand liters uh, it seems for capacities we're working in cubic meters in the store um, it has working width, a spread width of 24 meters, which is massive, and a working speed of 9 meters. And in its manure spreader configuration, it's an extra 20,000, so that brings it up to 94,000. It looks, looks really nice. I believe we've had, I'm not sure we've had this exact model, but we've certainly had similar before in previous games. This looks really nice. It's got big old chunky tires on it. I like the, tr the trellable chunky tires. And we have the Michelins. Uh, BKTs, Verstein, and back to the trailer box. Wheels can be, uh, we've got standard one, standard two, wide tyres. I think we've got that under all uh, brands. So choices to be had. And we can also have the protective cloth, which is here at the front. And if we go to standard, we can also keep protective cloth there as well. And that's an extra 500. So let's get up close and personal. Let's get a, a version of each down to the farm, shall we? So we've brought one of each down to the farm on a case and a styre. They've got plenty of pull and power. So on the styre, we have the uh, trailer. Versions. This is just a standard trailer, 55,000 litre capacity. Looking really nice. Let's get in on the details. That's what we like to see. Looks good. Colours look great. Logos and everything look nice and clear. Even on the uh, the reflective triangles on there. Hopefully that comes across in the video. You know, sometimes you don't always come out great. But yeah, that looks really nice. Great, and as well on here, we've even got chocks. When you're detached, I guess the chocks are going to go under the wheel. Shall we detach one? Find out. Oh, they do. Chocks away, me lad. Look at that, under there. Stop it from rolling. Very nice, really good. If we do get any flickering today, it is the first recording since the big patch update for FS25. So, I anticipate that. So then behind the case, we have the manure spreader. And the uh, the spreader, or the, the churning part of the spreader unit is encased in there. And it, it comes out of here. Like I said, 24 meter working width on that one. Which is really nice. The Force 3000. But yeah, really nice models. Looking really good. Got our safety decals on as well. All of our air hoses, all of our cables are going in there quite nicely. Everything's going in, connecting up correctly. PTO is on. All important stuff. Look at that, connecting underneath as well. Should we jump in and uh, get it working? We've got a field that could do with some muck on it. So uh, let's do that. Now our cows aren't producing any manure for us at the moment. So if we loop around, I do have a buy all that should allow us to purchase some manure. Which will be super handy. Oh, if I can get underneath it, it'll work. So, we'll fill up on manure. Lovely job. Just scrape along the top there. suddenly feel the extra weight like when I drove them down they felt ever so loose it feels weighty which is good 45,000 litres of manure it's going to weigh something isn't it 
so what we want to do is if we get in a nice and close behind again we've got that dodgy morning lighting that I always seem to have so we shall unfold so that'll open up the, the spready unit that'll all be in there and then as we get going we'll uh, fire it out check our textures nice and wide get that on our plough field our deep ground deformation from that because it's heavy look how look how big that is and then we've got the steam coming out of the manure as well which is absolutely awesome love that it's, it's the little bits isn't it it's always the little bits that make the difference now I'm just trundling along at three miles an hour it does go up to eight, nine miles an hour for a working speed, which is probably about 11, 12 kph. But that's really nice, great animation. I like it. What's not to like about a manure spreader? We'll close it down, shut it up. All folded in, lovely job. So, yeah, does the job, really nice. So let's go and check out the trailer. Now in the store, because we went under the manure section, I didn't check to see what the fill types were for this and whether it is purely for like grass and chaff or whether we can carry uh, grains. So by trying to use the, the fill all, the sell all trigger, we, uh, we should see what we can get in here. So we can get manure, stones, mineral feed, but we can put everything in here. So if we get ourselves some hay, we get some hay. It is filling. That's just because I can't get underneath. You have to fill beside it. But that has a nice, nice Eden fill on there as well. Again, feels heavier than when I uh, brought it down. So we'll see if we can empty some of this into our cows that have never been fed there's not many of them I'm not sure how much feed they'll take whether they've already grazed so we'll uh, try and catch a little bit of the unload animation nicely does it nice and simple up and in no trouble so yeah I think these are really nice trailers uh, you know, we're quite limited on trailers in the game, so having some more as well doesn't hurt. And the, the Farm Tech Force 3000 is a nice one to have. Also, it doesn't hurt that these colours pop on a thumbnail, so there's, there's always the upside to that. But that's it, that's the Farm Tech Force 3000. It's a double trailer pack with manure spreader. Absolutely brilliant. I think these are really nice. Once I've got some money on one of my uh, farms, and I've got a farm big enough to warrant that sort of capacity. I'll try and work these in, that's for sure. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.